Throughout the past 125 years, the school has been an integral part of so many lives. These are just a few of the thousands of personal stories and special memories about Horace Mann School. I graduated in the last class of women after Horace Mann merged with Lincoln, and my daughter entered in the first co-ed class at Horace Mann. There was Miss Wood. She convinced me that I was a good student. I never thought of myself as a very good student, but she told me that I had great potential, and I've never forgotten that. And what I was is I was, a, I guess, a born debater. I decided that I wanted to go to law school, and in my senior year, what happened was Harvard decided finally to open its hallowed gates, Harvard Law School, to women. And so I applied, and I was one of 14 women who entered Harvard Law School in that year. Horace Mann was a place that gave you the confidence that you could really do practically anything that, that you set out to do in life. The faculty knew me as well as my parents did. I thought enough of the school and my experience there to have my son go to the school, and now fortunately my grandson is going to the school. They've kept the degree of excellence as they've gone forward, but they've adapted to how society has changed as well. My grandfather was first chairman of the board. My father went, he was class of 24. Uh, I went, class of 54. I think of all the things that stand out in my memory about Horace Mann is the teachers. People like Al Baruth that everybody remembers, inculcated a sense of wonder in English and in books. Carl Crandall, who was the math teacher, taught me algebra, or at least tried. It is still as rigorous as it ever was. What it does and what it can do for children is, is amazing, and it's because it has the discipline that it has, and it is as strong as it is in its traditions and its discipline. I think that's a good thing. What do I think of when I hear the words Horace Man? I think of openness to learning. I think of a warm, supportive environment. I think of great teachers. Lots of characters. Matt Glidden, Harry Allison, Al Baruth, Lyle Dean. All characters, all great teachers. Everyone imparted some wisdom to you in some way that was meaningful in their own style. Times may change, but the school still plays its role as a place for people to learn how to think progressively at some standard of excellence. At Horace Mann, I have two children. Anya is in sixth grade, Zoe is in third grade. And I think that the fact that they're both here is a gift. Horace Mann gave me a whole host of stories, memories, experiences that I'm hopeful that my children are able to replicate for themselves in their own way. The school remains a core part of each one of our histories. A core part, no question about it. Given all the formal schooling and education that I've been through, I can say without a question that my five years at Horace Mann were my five favorite years. To this day, I hear Mr. Edward Simpson's voice in my brain, pushing me to speak properly, to write properly. I played field hockey and lacrosse at Horace Mann. I was a very average athlete but I wasn't made to feel average. And uh, Christine McGowan was our coach. She got her girls to deliver their hardest effort day in and day out. When I look back on it, you can't beat it. I'm the Washington Bureau Chief of the New York Times. Uh, I've worked here at the Times for about 13 years, and uh, since I got out of college, I've been a journalist uh, my whole adult life. And it's impossible for me not to think about Horace Mann when I think about the work that I do because the first newspaper I worked for was at Horace Mann. It was the record. As intense as it can be to be in the glare of national media, in some ways it's still not as intense as being a 15-year-old and have the teacher tell you why the paper you put out that week uh, was flawed. Uh, in some ways that is a more intense experience and I'm enormously grateful for the fact that I got to have that experience. 
And so when I look back on my time at Horace Mann, it was easily the best four years of classroom education that I had anywhere. When I think back to Horace Mann and what it represents, I think about what it represents to my parents. And my parents were immigrants from Korea who really didn't have much when they came here. And they sacrificed for me and my brother to attend Horace Mann because for them, education was everything. And so I thought about the opportunity that was in front of me and how can I take advantage of that to the best way possible. And I did take economics, which was a great course and I think was one of the reasons why I became interested in business early on. Today, I currently live in New York and work at Morgan Stanley as an executive director. When I look back at Horace Mann and how that has taught me to be the person that I am today after 13 years there, I really do think that it was fundamental to who I am today and try to give back in any way possible. Horace Mann is still so much a part of my life, and my closest friends are still Horace Manners. Um, so this is actually fun because it's a picture of kindergarten, and all of my best friends are in this photo. I think that Horace Mann teaches you to squeeze every single ounce out of every day in your life. I started a dress rental company called Rent the Runway. We rent dresses over the internet. Um, it's for women's special occasions in their lives. Horace Mann, I think, played a big role in my starting the company because it does give you this sense of empowerment. It didn't matter that I didn't have a fashion background or a technology background. I still felt like I could start this company. I didn't go to Horace Mann in middle school. I went to a different middle school where going to college or doing a lot of the things I wanted to do later on in my life didn't really seem possible, but going to Horace Mann changed that because I was surrounded by teachers and other students who wanted to support me and they wanted to do well as well. And seeing students accomplish things, go to great schools, made me realize that I could do what I wanted to do. I am currently a freshman at Harvard University and I'm working in a nonprofit now that builds schools in countries where it's not looked at as necessary for women to have education. I would love to do that on a larger scale. Mr. Nadio was my teacher junior year of economics and he really inspired me to do more in the field. Uh, he, we used to talk a lot about public policy, economics, politics, social issues. His knowledge uh, made me want to pick up an economics textbook, learn more about finance on my own, and that's, that's how I got to where I am right now, which is in an undergraduate business program. I'm currently a freshman at NYU Stern. Basically, I, I think I learned how to learn in Horace Mann. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Horace Mann School. Now more than ever, it's time to renew our support of today's talented students and faculty and to explore the growing needs of our future generations. Thank you for supporting our long tradition, our current dreams, and our vision for the future. Happy birthday, Horace Mann. Happy birthday, Horace Mann School. Happy birthday, Horace Mann. Happy birthday to you. Here's the next 125 years. Horace Mann was the right school of its time. It is the right school of these days. It will continue to be the right school evolving to meet future needs as time goes on. Happy 125th birthday, Horace Mann. Happy birthday, Horace Mann School! Please help us to continue to make a difference in the lives of our students that we proudly serve. Thanks to all in the community who've played a role in shaping Horace Mann School's rich history. We look forward to writing the next chapter with each of you.